Now let's create this bottom plate in CATA design. So for that, just we will enter into start new part design. So while entering into part, we are going to create here bottom plate. So just we will give part name bottom plate will specify as like this and let's say okay. Now to create this bottom plate, we are having this base with a length of 250 and width of 151 rectangle. It should be with the thickness of 30 mm. So just we'll go here with position sketch on this top plane. So to make it proper orientation, I will use swap reverse vertical. Let's say okay. So on this top plane, we are having here center point rectangle. So just we'll create one rectangle exactly with reference to this origin. To give dimension, we'll go for constraint. Dimension for this we are having length of 250. Then width we are having for this as 150. Exit workbench. So with this profile we need to make pad with width of 30 mm. Let's say OK. Then next to that we are having one center hole here with a diameter of 50. Exactly with reference to on this vertical axis. From here we are having with a distance of 50. Now to create hole we will go here with hole on this face. So diameter we need here 50. Depth should be up to next. So to make this hole proper position we will go here with positioning sketch. Then by using constraint this point should be exactly on this horizontal axis. Let's make it coincidence here. Then from this end to this point we are having here distance of 50. Then exit workbench. Let's say OK here. Center hole is created now. Then same like that. We are having here four holes with a diameter of 25. Depth up to next. For position horizontally we are having 30. Vertically also we are having 30. Now we will go for hole. One hole we need on this face with a diameter of 25. Depth up to next. So to make it position, we will go for positioning sketch by using constraint dimension from this point to this end we need here 30. Then this point to this edge vertically we are also having 30. Exit workbench. Let's say OK. Now by using this original hole, we need to create this multiple holes in linear movement. In that condition, we can go here under transformation features we can use a rectangular pattern. So first direction we need this side. As we can see distance we are having here 90. So just we will give 90. Total two holes we want in reverse direction. Same like that here also we want. We will go for second direction. Instances we need two. Horizontally we are having gap we are having 190. So let's give this 190 dimension. So direction is with reference to this we need or else we can select this axis system also. Let's say OK. So like this we can create this bottom plate. So if you want to change some color on part body mouse right click. We'll go here with properties. Then we'll go here with graphic and we are able to give whatever the color we want. Let's apply this color and save it in a separate folder. So just we'll create one folder here. So assembly design I'll create. So we need here press tool assembly. Just I'll open press tool assembly. I'll save it as bottom plate. Let's save here. Next we'll create this top plate. So to create top plate we'll enter into here new part. So we need here top plate. Let's give that part name. Then let's say OK. Same here. Before we have created for bottom plate same parameters we are having here. One rectangle we need with length of 250 and width of 150. It should be with the thickness of 30. So again I will go here with position sketch. So we need on this top plane. So to make proper orientation swap reverse vertical. Let's say OK. Now we are having one center point rectangle here. To give dimension we will go for constraint. Length we need here. 250 and width we need here 150. Then exit workbench make this pad with width of 30. 
then next to that before we are having hole here for bottom plate but now material is added with length of 90 with same diameter of 50 with same position exactly on vertical axis from here to here 100 or else from this end to this we can take it 50. Now we need to create one sketch on bottom face so here we will go for sketch then we need one circle here exactly on this axis dimension for this we are having diameter of 50 then to make this position the center point to this edge we are having here 50 exit workbench with this shape material should be added so we will go here with pad so we are having length from this to this total 90 let's give this total length of 90 like this then next to that top we are having four holes with a diameter of 40 so I'm like as we have did yesterday or like before just we will create one hole on this face diameter we need 40 depth up to next then to make proper position we will go for position sketch same here also horizontally we are having 30 vertically we are having 30 as we did earlier so this to this we need here 30 then same from point to this also we need here 30 then exit workbench and let's say okay so by using this original hole again we need to create four holes by using this rectangular pattern so we need to in first direction we are having distance of 90 let's give dimension of 90 with reference to this direction we need reverse direction then second direction we need to with the distance of 190 with reference to this we will make it here reverse let's say okay so just we will apply some color for this i will apply some color for this then we will save this as top plate under same press tool assembly only we need to save just we will save this one then i will close this then next to that we will create this guide pillar so again we will go for start part design we need here guide pillar let's give part name and say ok now to create guide pillar we are having one circle with a diameter of 25 total length we are having here 200 so just for example on the top plane i'll go for sketch we need one circle with a diameter of 25 exit workbench make pad total length we need here 200 so let's give total length of 200 like this then at end we are having here chamfers with a length of 2 mm into 45 degrees so directly we can go here with chamfer for only this edge and this edge we need to select with the length of 2 with inclination of 45 degrees let's say ok so let me apply some color for this also just we'll apply some color for this then we'll save it in the same folder guide pillar let's save then next to that we are going to create here guide bush so to create guide bush we are having one circle with a diameter of 40 one more circle with a diameter of 25 it should be make pad of 60 then at both edges we are having chamfer of 2 now let's go for new part we need here guide bush let's give part name then on this top plane i will go for sketch just will create some two circles here dimension for outer one we are having diameter of 40 for inner one we are having diameter of 25 exit workbench make this pad with width of 60 so let's give width of 60 here then we'll go for chamfer we need to apply chamfer for only this outer edges with a length of 2 let's give that chamfer and let apply some color for this two just we will save it in the same folder just save it as guide so like this we can create all the parts related to this press tool assembly so next video we are going to see how to make assemble for this entire assembly design of press tool then we are going to make simulation for that thanks for watching keep supporting